Mr. Speaker, the highest, the highest principle of Canadian democracy is that if you want to be Prime Minister, you get your mandate from the Canadian people, not from the... the separatists is a betrayal of the voters of this country, a betrayal of the best interests of our economy, a betrayal of the best interests of our country, and we will fight it with every means. Every member in this House has received a mandate from the Canadian people to deliver a deliver a government that will face the economic crisis. The Prime Minister failed. The Prime Minister doesn't have the support of this House anymore. We allow a vote to test if he has really the confidence of this House as it must be in a de de parliamentary democracy. Order the right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, not a single member of this House, not even a member of the Bloc, received a mandate to have a government in which the separatists would be part of the coalition. Mr. Speaker, if the leader of the opposition thinks he has support for this, he should have the confidence to take this to the people of Canada who will reject it. this high and mighty uh, language and moral indignation from the Prime Minister when he signed a document along with myself and Mr. Duceppe a few years ago and sent it to the That's the failure, and he wouldn't work with other parties to deliver a plan for the families of this country who are suffering in the economic circumstances we're in. Mr. Speaker, how can Canadians have any confidence in this Conservative government? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, in an internal letter today, the leader of the Bloc Québécois says, the coalition formed by the Liberal Party and the NDP supported by the Bloc will take control of the administration of the federal state. We will have the creation of a mechanism of permanent consultation empowering the Bloc Québécois on every question of importance, notably concerning the adoption of the budget. Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister, this government, this party has never and will never sign a document like that. He's saying, he's saying that we liberals are sold in Canada to the separatists and his Quebec MPs his Quebec MPs are saying that the separatists are selling their soul to the liberals. He needs to choose between these two lies. Canadians are fed up of his lies. The Canadian people made a choice to elect the Conservative Party to govern without the support of the separatists. Mr. Speaker, if the leader of the Liberal Party wants to become Prime Minister with the support of the separatists, he needs to put that option to the people of Canada. As a Democrat, I know that when a government is elected as a minority government, he has the responsibility to behave accordingly. The Prime Minister failed. He failed to address the economic crisis. He failed. And if he was a Democrat, he would allow this House to show how much he failed. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the Liberal Party 
failed to convince Canadians in the wisdom of his platform or in the sufficiency of his judgment to be Prime Minister of this country. And Mr. Speaker, if he wants to take the unprecedented scrap, uh, step of scrapping the result of an election campaign and forming for the first time in Canadian history a government entirely dependent on the support of separatists to run this country, then Mr. Speaker, he has the responsibility not to hide behind parliamentary niceties or deals, but to go to the people of Canada. When this Prime Minister was fighting to put firewalls around the province that we all love, I was fighting for clarity for this country. This is very simple. The leader of the Liberal Party wants to turn his back on the results of the last election. He wants to turn his back on the traditions of his own party, and he wants to form a coalition with the Quebec separatists. Mr. Speaker, he should either walk away from that or take it to the people.